under the leadership of Captain Alawan, a contingent of the brave knights of the Order of the Silver Lions established their encampment along the periphery of Evergreen Forest. The prevailing morale within their ranks had significantly dwindled following the tragic events of the fall of Good Haven. Despite being outnumbered and overpowered, the knights resorted to employing guerrilla warfare tactics in their efforts to repel the draconic knights and their underlings. However, their plight was compounded by the imminent arrival of a substantial enemy force. Ready the men. Maintain a tight formation. Hold the line! Protect the flanks. Hold! The enemies were the terrifying orc race. Split into a multitude of clans, they used to be at constant war with each other until they submitted to the rule of the Dragon Knights. The attack was spearheaded by the Proud Wolf's head clan of green or brown skin with their ferocious wolf riders and by the vicious Black Hand clan, seasoned and merciless warriors. With the arrival of the Dragon Knight, the circumstances were dire. Only a strategic retreat into the woods prevented their complete annihilation. The canopy of the forest offered cover from the dragon. But the battle was no less fierce. Shadows emerged amidst the leaves as arrows began to fly. Elves of Evergreen Forest came to defend their territory against the orcs, their sworn enemies. Utter chaos arose. The orcs succumbed one by one. Retreat! We thank you for your graceful assistance. You have brought the orcs here. We meant no harm. You are surrounded. Drop your weapons. Your fate will be decided by our queen. They were escorted to Everdale, the principal elven city within the Evergreen Forest. The Silver Knights found themselves detained though grateful for the opportunity to be alive to fight another day. It was in captivity that all Iran would first encounter Queen Galatia, thereby changing the course of the conflict. However, before him lay the formidable challenge of first overcoming the Queen's trials 